Hello everyone, in this video we are just going to study in detail about functions in C program and how they are involved in embedded C. Let's get started. So in C, we write the executable statements inside a certain block called functions. It is a collection of instructions for performing specific task. So we will not be writing the executable instructions outside of any function in C program. You could have remembered that even a single line or single executable line or any evaluation line we will be writing only inside main function or any other user defined function in C language. C program must have at least one function that is main. By default that is the function which will be executed fully. Using functions also increases the readability and make it easy for the programmer for debugging the program. Function reduces the executable size of program and now we are just going to test various types of functions that a user can define in an user defined manner in C program. So this is the basic syntax for writing your user defined function return type function name and within the parenthesis you can give the parameter list you can give not only one parameter to the function you can give n number of parameters to the function and below that you just want to provide the body of the function within flower braces so this is the function prototype syntax and now we are just going to write down one by one the different kinds of functions available or the different kinds of function that you can write in your c program in a user defined manner so this is the hierarchy of C project. Obviously you must be having a main.c which is the executable source file and in addition to that you can have n number of user.c user.h file and for each .c file you must be having a head of file included for it. But it is not necessary but this is a very good practice for a programmer for each .c file you must be having a .h file and now let us see different kinds of functions available with an example so now i am just opening the keel microvision ide and in this keel microvision ide for creating the project click on project new microvision project and go to the folder where you want to store your project let's take it to be i'm just creating a folder here and i'm just giving the name here to be pro you can give any name as per your wish and here in this first select device for target tab just type in the microcontroller name to be stm32 6446re and you can choose this microcontroller right over here and then click on ok and in the next manage runtime environment tab just click on the plus near the cmsys and check this box right over here near the core and additionally you just need the startup code required for your microcontroller for that click on plus near the device and check this box near the startup this will provide you the necessary startup code required for st microelectronics microcontroller stm32 f446re in addition to that just click on the plus near the compiler and plus near the io under that compiler and here you just want to check in std out and std in so these two are necessary for using printf and scanf and also for viewing the output from your code and getting the input from the user in debug viewer window in keel microvision ide that we will see later on so for using that you just want to check these two check boxes right over here near the std in and std out and in this drop down select itm here also the same and click on ok 
and that's it the project has been successfully created and now we just want to create our own main.c file required for our project click on plus right over here the target and right click on the source group folder and click on add new item to group source group one here in this tab select the c file that is dot c file which we are going to create and give a name for your dot c file obviously the main dot c file is the one which we are going to create so i am just providing the name to be main and then click on add now this is the main dot c file i am just including the standard header as include of stdio dot h in my program and additionally we just want the main function which is the foremost function which will be executed in every c program so the usual thing int of main i am just creating and since the return type of the main here is int i am just returning a zero at the end of main function so now we can start building our program right over here inside the main function so now i am just going to declare two different variables a is equal to 5 b is equal to 6 and here i am just going to print the sum of these variables a plus b I am compiling it and I am executing it. You can see the sum is equal to 11 has been printed. So this is a simple program which is useful for printing the sum of two variables in a C program. And now let us try to write down the same program with the help of functions in C program. So there are two things that you want to do for a function. One is function declaration and another one is function definition so function declaration is like as we saw the syntax of function definition return type function name and parameter list so this return type can be void int char whatever it may be whatever the data type it returns you can keep it as void if it is returning nothing and you can keep it as char int if the value returned by this function is somewhat a bigger value and this function name can be anything except numbers it can also be starting with underscore but uh, you can give any words but it cannot start with numbers and this parameter list is some variables that you want to pass to functions so the first and foremost type of function that we are going to see is void i am just providing the name of the function as add and the return type is void i am not going to pass any parameters to this function and here I am just going to do the same thing inside this function. So this is function definition and declaration if you do this above the main function. So if the function is defined and declared like this above the main function, this main function could recognize this function available on the top as you can see when I call this function this is the calling method for calling a function inside any function that is in my main function I am just calling this function what happens is as soon as this instruction is executed the control goes to the first line of this function and these lines will be executed and again after executing it will come back to the next line in the main function so when I compile you can see I am getting zero and zero warnings but when I write down this function below this main you can see it is showing like implicit declaration of function add it is showing like i don't have or i don't see any function named add in the program it is telling like that so in this case what you can do is you can declare this function above the main function like this so now when i compile you can see it is showing zero errors and zero warnings 
okay so this is function declaration and this one is function definition as a whole so when i execute this you can see i will get the same result in the debug view of window sum is equal to 11 so this is first type of function function without parameters and without return type and the second type of function that you can write is I will just give the name to be add one or I will comment this first function add one so with the parameters with the parameters without return type so with the parameters means what i will do is i will get these two values dynamically as a parameters to this function call like this you can see int of a comma int of b i will remove this or i will remove this and i will add it right over here inside the main and i can call this function like this a comma b and here i will sorry and on the top i just want to add the function declaration now you can see this is the function type with the parameters and without return type and this is the function with function of the type without parameters and without return type so here you can see when you call this function you need to pass two values if you are not pausing this you will get a syntax error and here what i am doing is i am just taking or declaring two local variables and i am pausing those two local variable values to this function or even you can pause directly the values like this 5 comma 4 etc so you can do this this also so let me just leave it as it is so for this function call i will get 11 to be printed and for this function call i will get 9 to be printed sum is equal to 9 to be printed let us check whether it is working or not you can see two function calls are working properly so we have seen two different types of functions available or that you can declare and the third type is with the parameters and with return type so function with the return type can return values back so let's take the same example and i'm going to change the return type of the function to int and further at the end you just want to return the value as expected I'm not going to print it right over here and I'm just going to print it right over here so let me just declare another variable right over here and I'm going to call this add to with 7 comma 3 and I'm declaring this function on the top you can leave it it is not necessary to erase these two while declaration but in case if you change something in future you will get errors that's why we are leaving the type right over here in declaration so you can clearly see this function with return type and with parameters will receive two parameter values and it will return back some value 
so whatever that you are returning right over here will be returned in our case what i am doing is i am just adding these two values and i am returning back that value so that i have given an integer type as return type from this function so here what i am doing is i am just fetching the value that is returned from that function using a variable called c and i am printing that value of c right over here in the next line so here i am passing 7 and 3 so i will get a plus b to be 10 as the value in the c so sum is equal to 10 will be printed so for the first call it will print 11 and for the second call it will print 9 and for the third call it will print 10 here in the main function itself i'm just running this let us check whether we are getting the expected output and yes we got the expected output so these are the three main major different types of functions that we will be using in our c program often one is the function without parameters and without return type and the function with the parameters and without return type and finally the function with the parameters and with return type and these are the basic functionalities of functions basically in uh, first type we will be doing everything inside that function itself and in the second type we will be fetching some value in the function for processing and we will be processing that inside that function and in the third type of function we will be fetching some value and we will be processing and we will be returning back some value to the calling function so this is what the difference between these three functions and these are the different kinds of functions available in c language which you can use in your program so I hope you learnt or got some knowledge of user defined functions in C language. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.